In this lecture, we will learn uh, about filter with colors. As you can see, we have colored uh, our cells. This carries a meaning. Uh, the red color is of danger, and we have filled the cells which are having very low sales value. Yellow color is given to the cells which are having mediocre sales value, and green color is given to the cells which are having very high sales value. There is one cell which is blank that is the highest sale, or you can assume also that while coloring the cells, we forget one cell to give any color. So let us try to filter it out. Suppose I want to find out the cells which are having very low sales. I can select this and have the cells which are having very low sales on the basis of year one revenue, right? If I want to know which are the cells or which are the records which are having a very high sales, then I can have these sales. Also, if I want to know that which are the cells which I forget to fill any color in, then no fill. Yes, there is a cell where no color coding has been given, right? And then we can go to data and clear the filters. Moreover, coloring of the cells is uh, a very important topic. We'll cover in a later lecture in conditional formatting, as you can see on here on the screen. Right now, we'll do color filters only. Now, let us come to year two revenue. We can not only filter on the basis of the colors in the cells, we can also filter on the basis of the colors of the characters. Filter by color is now two types, filter by cell color and filter by colors of the font. We can find out a red color values like this on the right hand side. So filter by colors can be done in two ways, the color inside the cell and the color of the fonts. 